David, why Paris? Why? Well, France, when I came along, my job was simple. Well, simple but hard. It was tell a good story about Daryl Dixon in France. That had already been decided. And that had been a thing that had been discussed before they asked me to come in and talk about what I might do with it or how I would write that story or create a story. So Norman really can speak to the, that process of sort of landing on France, which happened before me. Yeah, that we were, Melissa and I were told at the same time, the season before we ended the show in America. So we were very excited, but we thought that we would go on a road trip and then go back to Georgia and see everybody again. Right. So they told us we were going to France, and then two months later, they said the other show was ending. So we were like, wait, what? Uh, so that, that kind of threw us, but you know, we were excited to tell uh, our story in a different environment with different people and, you know, and it was very smart. And also, Norman, be honest, it helped you because I just, some weeks ago, we spoke to Diane and she said, great, Norman was working in Paris and you lived there. Isn't that good to work in front of the house? It's great. Uh, we <laughs> bought an apartment here uh, at the end of the first season. Uh, and I love it, I love France. I, I'm having the time of my life here. My daughter loves it here. My daughter went to a school here uh, for a year. She loves it, she speaks better French than I do. Uh, but, but I, you know, there's, I remember like my first week on set, the, you know, in America, it's like bang, 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 bang. There's four cameras going at the same, you know, it's just like, ah, ah, ah. but in France, the, the camera department did a shot and then we were waiting, and I'm like, what are we waiting on? Like, and then that, somebody I was with overheard what the camera department was talking about, and they're talking about what story are we telling with this camera movement? It, there's a, a real, and I was like, take your time, but there's a real artistry here. There's a, there's a poetry in Europe uh, that I've really become accustomed to working with. The light's different, uh, the attitudes, uh, uh, different, you know, that there, there's, it, it's, it's working really well with the story that David's written, you know, it, everything's, Absolutely. everything's in, in sync, you know. Because David also wrote it a little bit, we saw Daryl Dixon a little bit more soft, a little bit more approachable, and does that come closer to your character, Norman, to your, I mean, your person, Norman? A little bit, you know. I've always said I'd, I don't mind being the hero, I just don't want to know I'm the hero. You know what I mean? Uh, yes. And I think, you know, it, it, like even in the first episode, you know, it, there's, there's, a, there's a part where Cadron, who plays this soldier that's chasing me, we get in a fight. And while we're fighting, I, I don't necessarily need to win everything. Yeah, I wanted him to just beat the crap out of me. And so we altered it on the day and made him just really throw me around like a rag doll. And it makes me vulnerable. It makes his character stronger and more intimidating. But I feel like Daryl, from being the hothead that he was in the beginning, I want to take all the characters I've played with, the Herschels, the Ricks, the Glens, and I want to evolve and have learned things from them and take that into as an as a as an adult would so uh, you know what I mean? Does yeah, that make sense? Absolutely. But also, I think it's um, because we have Laurent, this character of Louis Laurent, no? Yeah. And that kids bring sometimes they make us softer. They make That's us true. maybe your father yourself. Mm -hmm. You you might know that. I'm sure that your daughter has a huge influence in your personality and how yeah. you are today. Absolutely. I, you know, the, the you know, and, and Daryl coming, the character Daryl Dixon coming from an abusive father, uh, I, I, there's a quality of age that you get to where you grow as a person. And I think if you didn't have Daryl grow as a person, uh, I think I'd just be playing the same thing over and over again, you know, and, and Laurent, uh, brings that out of Daryl for sure. He wants to protect him. Just like during the casting process when I met Louis, I immediately wanted him. And I'm like, if Norman 
cares about Louie, Daryl's going to care about Laurent. So right. yeah. everything's kind of in simpatico. And for me, that, that was a great gift as a storyteller when I first was talking to Norman to know that he didn't want to be a superhero, he didn't want to be superhuman, and that he was open to sort of evolution of the character, you know, which is natural. That's what happens in life. So let's do that for real with the character and not let, let the character get stuck in a box. And all these circumstances allowed for all the stuff you were just talking about a minute ago because he's stuck without the people he loves. He's got this small group of people that he's come to love over time. He doesn't love easily. He doesn't trust easily. And he's taken away from them and he's stuck in this place by himself and he's stripped down. He even has, has walkers that he doesn't know how to fight especially well at first. So he's very, he's, he, he's, he's, we've taken away his superpowers to some extent. And then, and, then that, and then interacted him with this woman who has this beautiful belief that he doesn't share and this kid who needs somebody to help him and needs a father figure like, like he as a character never really had a good one. And, and so all of that allows you know, to show a little, you know, the character is the same character, but just open him up a little bit like, you know, and, and, and show a trans yeah. uh, not a transformation, but an expansion. But you know what? That that's interesting also. And Laika and Louis just told me that they said Norman is such a beautiful, nice person on set, and he's so he they didn't say childish, but you are like I'm you know <laughs> you are you, but in a good way. You know what I mean? I that you are really open with kids. Yeah. Is that and the, here comes the question? Is that also because your father yourself, Norman, that you? stay young does she keep you young you know did that change a little bit your playfulness that you have a daughter yourself possibly i think i've always kind of been uh childlike you know you know i i i've always been an artist i've always done artistic things uh and i think uh the uh the curiosity of it all i think uh i find very uh appealing which kind of comes off as like a goofy guy every once in a while, you know what I mean? Um, like, you know, my daughter just lost her first tooth uh, and she was supposed to save me the tooth, but she swallowed it. So now I've taught, every time she goes to the bathroom, she's looking through her stuff, trying to find me a tooth, which I think Diane is uh, not happy about. But, yeah. <laughs> but I'll tell you one other thing about that. No oh. Norman and Children, we did this second episode. I don't know if you've seen the second episode where there's a school of children. And it was an amazing thing to me because I don't think most of those kids really knew The Walking Dead or knew Daryl Dixon, but there's just an immediate chemistry that Norman has with kids that kids gravitate to him. And, and I don't think it's because he was famous to some of them or any of that. There's just a natural thing. And it made a lot of magic moments in that episode between those kids and Norman. It's a lot of which were sort of found in the moment, found on the day. They, you know, not not all. A, a lot of them were not scripted. It was just those kids reacting to Norman and Norman reacting to those kids. Yeah, they would. You can feel that. Yeah. yeah, the kids would jump up and grab my hands and jump. You know. Yeah. And they've never seen this. Show. I I think I'm just eternally 12 years old. I think that's the truth. Okay, thank you. That's nice. Stay the way you are. Thank Stay you, 12. Ah, uh, thank, thank you. Thank you. So Pleasure much. to meet thank you. you. Bye.